Hi everyone, Budget Stark here. Thanks again for tuning in. A number of collectors have messaged me about what wires are required for the Hulkbuster if they're going to power the soap reactor so that they can remote control all the light up features. So I'm going to go through very quickly all of the compartments and the wires needed for each of the light up features of the Hulkbuster. So it's made by Soap Studio, this is the Soap Reactor. I'll put a link in the description below so you can find out a little bit more information, cost of shipping, cost of what exactly you need. But essentially, really simplistically, first light up feature is in the helmet of the Hulkbuster. I don't have him lit up on my one because I have the bust with the Mark 43 showing so there's a wire required for the eyes the bust section arc reactor there the main arc reactor for the Hulk Buster and then two for the hands two for the light up gauntlets and then one each on the back of the calves which light up the back and the front knee sections. I'm going to show you a quick breakdown of what wires are required where and a quick summary of the exact wires that you need to order for this. I will show you something also that not all collectors are aware of. Now the soap reactor you can actually chain them together using a USB connection which again you can purchase from soap studios so effectively you can use one power outlet to power one soap reactor and you can see at the back here there are eight slots so these eight slots are for lighting up the figures you get four more slots on the side they are generally for diorama bases or lighting up for example the hall of armor so effectively you only have eight to work with. Now for Hulkbuster, if you want to light up every single light up feature, there are 10, but you can decide not to do a couple if you so wish. But if you do light up all 10, you will need two soap reactors. So you can actually link them together using the wire. So both soap reactors will work using one power outlet only. I think collectors will be looking to probably use this feature because it is very handy and I'm going to show you how that looks when you switch everything on and off and I'll show you with the cabinet lights off because some collectors wanted to see how this would look in a little bit more darkness. I've switched off the cabinet lights and also the room lights there is still some sunlight at the back, but I think you can see it's considerably darker. And there you go, that's with the light up features on the quarter scales and the Hulk Buster off and back on again. Very straightforward to organize and fit in. You can hide the wires pretty easily because the figure is so big that you can put them around the back or around the side and you won't see them at all. Hope you guys found this video useful. Thanks for watching and catch you all at the next video.